Welcome. This video provides an introduction to package management. Learn how to install and manage software packages on Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Fedora systems. Let's understand what package management is. YUM, which stands for Yellow Dog Updater Modified, is a package manager primarily used for Red Hat Enterprise Linux and CentOS. DNF, which stands for Dandified YUM, is the next generation version of YUM. DNF is the default package manager in Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 and later versions. Both YUM and DNF automatically resolve dependencies, making software management easier. Now let's look at the key features. Package managers allow you to install, update, and remove software packages. They also help manage package repositories, resolve dependencies automatically, and maintain a transaction history with rollback capabilities. Note that DNF offers improved performance and memory usage compared to YUM. Now let's explore some essential package management commands. To install a package, use the command sudo dnf install package name or sudo yum install package name. To remove a package, use sudo dnf remove package name or sudo yum remove package name. To update packages, you can use the command sudo dnf update followed by the package name or sudo yum update, followed by the package name. If you want to search for a package, you can use the command dnf search keyword or yum search keyword. These commands work similarly in both yum and dnf with slight variations in output and performance. Let's delve into advanced package management commands. To get detailed information about a package, use the command dnf info followed by the package name. To list all enabled repositories, use the command dnf repo list. To list all packages installed on the system, use the command dnf list installed. To check for available package updates, use the command dnf check update. Now let's explore how to work with package groups. To list available groups, use the command sudo dnf group list. This command shows all available package groups. To install a package group, use the command sudo dnf group install, followed by the group name in quotes, such as development tools. This command installs all packages within the specified group. For detailed information about a package group, use the command sudo dnf group info, followed by the group name in quotes, such as web server. This command shows details about the packages included in that group. Let's explore how to manage repositories. Repository configuration files are stored in the slash etc. slash yum.repos.d slash directory with a .repo extension. To enable or disable a repository, use the command sudo dnf config manager, enable repo name, or sudo dnf config manager, disable repo name. To add a new repository, use the command sudo dnf config manager, add repo followed by the URL of the repository. Here's an example of a repository file. The section in brackets specifies the repository ID, such as Apple. The name field describes the repository. The base URL field specifies the location of the repository. The enabled field indicates whether the repository is enabled where one means enabled. The GPG check field enables the GNU Privacy Guard key check, and GPG key specifies the location of the GPG key file. Let's explore system maintenance commands. To update all packages to the latest versions, use the command sudo dnf upgrade. To clean the package cache, removing cached package data, use the command sudo dnf clean all. To automatically remove and use dependencies, use the command sudo dnf auto remove. To upgrade to a new distribution version, use the command sudo dnf system upgrade. Let's explore how to work with RPM files. To install an RPM package from a local file, use the command sudo dnf install slash package name dot RPM. DNF will automatically resolve any dependencies. Alternatively, 
you can use the RPM command sudo rpm ivh package name rpm, but note that RPM doesn't resolve dependencies automatically. Here are some useful RPM query commands. RPM co lists all installed packages. RPM qf slash path slash to slash file finds which package owns a particular file. RPM ql package name lists the files contained within an installed package. RPM chi package name displays detailed information about a specific package. Let's explore some best practices and tips. Schedule regular system updates using the command DNF upgrade to keep your system secure and stable. Install the fastest mirror, plug in to automatically select the fastest repository mirrors. Track and undo package operations with DNF history to recover from problematic installations. Use DNF download to download packages without installing them. This is useful for offline installations. Yum and DNF are powerful package managers for Red Hat Enterprise Linux-based systems. They handle installation, updates, and dependencies automatically. Explore advanced topics like repository management, custom package building, and system automation with Ansible. Here are some additional resources. DNF documentation, Red Hat Enterprise Linux package management guide, and the Fedora wiki. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.